Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Lenora from Fitness Overcomer. Today we're going to look at how to do a proper squat. I see a lot of people squatting the wrong way and if you squat with improper form you can cause knee and lower back issues. So today's video is going to focus on how to squat. We're going to look at some principles that you have to take into consideration whenever you're squatting. Alright so we're going to look at how to do a squat. The squat that we're going to do is going to target the quads. For targeting the quads, you want to have more of a narrow stance where your feet are like shoulder width apart. If you're working or targeting the glutes, then you have more of a wider stance. So I'm going to turn to the side so you can see better. What I see a lot of times is that people start the squat moving their knees forward in the first part of the exercise. What that does is that you put a lot of strain on the knees. A squat is a hip hinge movement. So what you wanna do is actually push the hips back in the first part of the movement before even moving the knees forward. Chest nice and high, push the hip back, down and up put in the weight on the heels. So we're gonna do that again. You start the movement by pushing the hips back because it's a hip hinge movement. Chest up high, then the knees start going forward, down, squeeze the glutes up. Another thing is, if you've been squatting incorrectly for some time and you're now starting to do the right movement, Sometimes it would hurt to have some sort of support there, just in case. So in this case, I have a bench. I'm gonna put the bench right here. And this also, you can practice better form using this method. So it's called a box squat. Again, hips go back, not knees forward. This is what I see a lot. And then your knees are way past your toes. Nope, you don't wanna do that. You wanna sit back down and up. See where my knee is in comparison to my toes? My knees haven't gone past my toes. If you're doing the right movement and it still goes past your toes, then there's nothing you can do about that. But if you're not doing it correctly, then you're gonna put pressure on your knees and cause knee problems as well as lower back issues. For some people they have ankle mobility issues and so sometimes in order to get a nice squat or to squat correctly they need to raise your heels a bit by putting plates underneath your heels or they have what's called squat shoes where you can put on the shoes that are made with the heel raised and that will help as well. Also, while squatting, make sure not to have the knees caving in, but you want to push the knees out as you squat. So, for example, when squatting, make sure the knees go out like that and up. Not in like this. No, that's a no. You want it to go out. If you're having problems with the knees caving in, it's good to put a band right here and push against the band as you squat down and that will help to remind you to push the knees outward as you squat. All right, so to summarize, squatting, it's a hip hinge movement. First part of the movement, you wanna sit back, chest up, and you also want to get at least parallel, the femur parallel to the floor. Try to get the knees not past the toes unless you can't help it. 
Make sure that your knees do not cape in, that they go out during the movement. If you're having issues with that, you can put a band just to remind you to push the knees outward. Also, if you're having problems with mobility, ankle issues, you may need to raise the heels up a bit during the squat movement by putting plates or some sort of support underneath the heels. Also, during the movement, make sure to put the weight in your heels and not on your toes. Okay, and that's how you do a proper squat. So, thanks again for joining me today. Remember to like this video, remember to subscribe, click the bell so you can get notifications on future videos. There are many ways you can follow me. I'll put the links below. Until next time, guys, bye for now.